I don't give a shit. I'm I do. Giving you. I am not giving you permission to film me. I do give a shit. What? You don't give a shit. I do give a shit. <laughs> So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here at AB in Bev UK Limited Brewery, which has got Budweiser and Stella plastered all over it. Now the first thing to notice is this red line here and it's so new, it's even on the grass. So I wonder whether they are prepared for this type of thing, whether this site has been filled before and they're trying to learn from previous disasters. I don't know. So looking at this red line, if you was in a wheelchair or mobility scooter, you couldn't cross this curb. You just couldn't. So you would have to go to the nearest drop curb, which is just here. And then you would go over there and continue. Now you will notice this fence here, this is a council installed and maintained fence. And the, the same fence continues all the way around the corner, all the way past the red line and all the way down there. So it makes me believe that the red line is nothing to do with private property. And I'm not sure what it is there for just yet. So let's go find out. To the right, we've got a little bit of a lorry park. They are making a big statement about being green, look. Brewing better with hydrogen. They're generating the energy. They're putting it through a process. They're putting it through a process called electrolysis. The hydrogen is then stored and used for the brewing process and for their transport. Ah. Very good. A bit of an extension here, a brand new building. Doesn't look like it's in use just yet. They've left the lights on, so it's easy for us to see inside. And it's definitely empty in there. And they've got a fire escape going all the way up to nowhere. But the birds love it, don't they? Just leave in sight now. They've got a nice shunter, tear bag. Of a tractor unit they're centering. It's got a very strong smell. A very, very strong smell, as you would expect, being at a brewery. Loads of silos over there with the raw ingredient. And we can just see Bud Light, one of their other brands. Brand new, that does. Yeah. Yeah. It don't matter. Huh? It don't matter. I don't give a shit. I'm well, not I do. giving you. I am not giving you permission to film me. I do give a shit. What? You don't give a shit, I do give a shit. It's my right to film whatever I want. What, on private land? Yes. So, I'm coming out of the property, so you're on private property, What's filming the without permission. I'm just saying that I work for a company and I don't want to be filmed. Tough. Yeah. No hard feelings, mate. You come too close to me, I will defend myself, I'm telling you now. And how did you Get defend yourself? How, you, uh, how, how did you defend yourself? Well, let's well, see. Putting then. your hands on me. If you touch me, yes. If you get too close to me, yes. I don't know what his problem was. What is it with people and cameras, man? They should be proud of their people.
Connie, yeah. Connie, what are you saying? You're going to have to do better than that, mate. Connie, what are you saying? I can't hear what you're saying, mate. Yeah, you can't come on. You can't be on you. This is private property. You can stand on the foot of the path, but you're not allowed to know. What's this? So what does that imply to me? You've started talking to me, mate. Don't walk away. I'm being nice to you, aren't I? Mate, so you work here, don't you? Um, you're not allowed past this barrier, are you? Sorry? What? Just, to, just to do some video of the, the yeah, building. But, yeah, but the... the Hold on, you walked away. You've had your chance. Yeah, mate. So do you know this... He's in charge here. He's not. You need to listen to him. He's not in charge of me. He is. He's in charge of you, not me. He is in charge of this place. This is a private land, and if you want to take your pictures, you ask this man politely if you are allowed to. Am if I allowed not, to take turn pictures? Around and you go away. He said no, Sorry, and I'm not turned well, around. If he said no, I'm not turned around. Yeah. I'll stay here, yeah? yeah? Thank you, mate. He said I can stay here. No. Pedestrian footpaths are bare, but. Right, would you like to talk or not? No. Yes, but if you'd like to stand off and Let's call the, the police. The police. Yeah, that's yeah, you know what you're up to. Excuse me, mate. Every time I try to talk to you, you walk away. Right, are you happy if I stand out there? Do you know that red line on the floor? Yeah, you can. Listen to what I'm saying before you say I can't. Do you know the red line that you've painted outside? Are you happy if I stand there and do my filming from there? See? You want a public footpath, that's not a public footpath. I've just said, past the red line. Don't talk to me like that, but... Well, you're stupid or what? No. On the public footpath, you've painted a red line, haven't you? See? I'm not... Does he really think I'm going to do what you say? Numpties. Huh? Do you know what I mean? You try and, like, communicate and come to, a, come to a mutual agreement about what we should be doing and you just go and laugh. You should be stood on a public footpath. Right. A public footpath. When I say to you, you painted a red line, do you know what I mean? That red line, but that's still a private property, isn't it? What, the red line over there? It's on the end, you mean to be? Yeah. So, so I can stand on the red line. Let me finish my sentence. Let's have a look at what you got in here, shall we? Let's have a look at what you got, because you're, you're a bit cocky, aren't you? You really think I'm going to do what you say when you're behaving like this? No chance, mate. I'm tempted to go on. But I won't. I'll stay this side of the barrier. Like a good boy. Shouldn't this door be locked, mate? Hey, not very secure, is it? So because of your, um, your attitude, we've now got a situation where you're going to have to do something about it. So what are you going to do? Uh, I don't think so. See, it all depends how security behave. And if you get a security like that... Oh, we just... No, 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 no. You know, communicate. Work with the photographer or the tourist that's come here to, to show an interest. I'm trying to say the red line that you've painted, can we use that as a point where... Are you happy for me to stand behind that? No. Because the next question would have been, I'm going to take the drone over from that point. But we just didn't get past that uh, bad attitude, did we? So anyway, we get the gist. A brewery, loads of different silos, loads of old style buildings, loads of pipes, and Securitas security guard there. And really, in my opinion, it's hopeless. So before it starts to rain, because Storm Angus is on his way, let's get David up and see what Budweiser looks like from above. So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in the area at all. Let's go and have a look, shall we? 
So it does look like they're having some works done to this patch here. Very recent. The grass has not even grown back yet. Maybe the lorries kept on damaging the curb. Or maybe it was two lanes and they just reduced it to one. I don't know. But right next door, behind us, we've got this new development. So in years to come, you will all see this looking much different. But let's focus on Budweiser. So we saw the lorry park there immediately to the right. And this new building here, which has bases for lots more silos in the future. But I think they have enough for now. Look at all them. Wow. And then, of course, the site continues past the barrier that we stopped at and goes all the way down here. Now we do have a gardener and somebody else on their way up this direction in high vis. And the grounds do look very nice. The gardener's doing an excellent job. But the main site is right just there. I like the bridge. Look at that. Bringing people from that building all the way over and down the, I would have said temporary steps. It does look like it should continue, but <laughs> they've stopped it. And then they've got a bit of a new new section over here it seems as well yeah but brand new isn't it still under construction over here and then it goes all the way back down there gigantic site so down in the middle of the site here we get to see Lots of kegs, a Budweiser trailer. Yes, this is certainly where all the action happens. A very secluded area down here. As we head over a little bit further, we have more warehouse units down at the back, where it looks like they're loading bottles on pallets or cans I would have thought and they've also got another security restriction down there as well so as we pan back around we see more roofs <laughs> we're sick of seeing roofs aren't we and then we have this other little area down here where we have what I love to look at and that is <coughs> the skips. <coughs> so what are they getting rid of here at Budweiser then? Well, let's see. Bales of paper, it seems. Just pushed straight into the skip. It looks like that one's cans. Cardboard and plastics. But look at how sludgy that yard is. And do we have bottles in the yellow bins as well? I think so. Then looking a little bit further ahead, more little bridges that connect one building to the other. And then we're back over at all these silos. Loads to see. All we need now is an expert standing beside us to tell us what it all does. That would be ideal, wouldn't it? So we're now at 120 meters high. We're just about to get the gatehouse in the shot. And there we have it. The whole site in one shot. Smile and wave at the drone. That's the right idea.
Oh, is it policy that you should get off the dumper truck whilst it's being loaded, is it? I'm not here to catch you out, lads. So where's he going to take it then? Where's he going to take it? Let's have a look. Oh, it's going all the way outside the other end. So they're laying the stone for the outside perimeter access. That makes sense now. So the construction site next door turned out to be more interesting than the brewery. I don't know. And that was Budweiser here at the Maga or Magor Brewery. I'm not too sure if security handled it the best, but I'll let you decide. Now, this red line, the post directly next to it, is where the DJ Audit's key ring is located. Just there, look. So, if you are one of the first people to watch the video and you do want a key ring, well, good luck with that. And as DFDS, a professional haulage contractor, leaves sight, who doesn't mind the camera at all, look. No loud paps of the horn. No getting out the cab and confronting the photographer. None of that. We just want professionalism from everybody, really, don't we? And we didn't get that from him, I don't feel. Where is he? Him there. Oh, he's still on the phone. Surely not. So that's it. If you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.